I actually uh, just had the pleasure of taking a look at the championship rings. No way. That no Rick way. Chan had made, yes. No way. They had championship rings made, all silver. That is awesome. Three-time MLP champion is donned on the side of the ring. Well, let's go. Hard eights. Uh, so hopefully there's probably going to be a, a photo of that running around social media soon. It's the first pickleball jewelry so far. I, I'm a big fan. That's awesome. Also being a, a hard eights alum. Yeah, that's right. So great start here for the bouncers, though, up 4-1. Not going to see her miss that one often. Absolute sitter in the middle. We've all done that, though. Oh, my gosh. We, so, uh, for some reason, it's harder than it looks. You, time, you miss time that. Yep. You're not ready for it to come back that high. Just a half second miss time can send it wide. Afraid. Irina's not afraid of anything. Really. No. She's the MLP GOAT. She is the GOAT. It's been a while since he's been on top, but I've no doubt she'll be there again soon. Oh, tasty. Yeah, just on cue, right on cue for you, AJ. I wish I could high five her. She's, <laughs> she almost touched the, the booth here. She had a slower start to the year and just didn't play as much, and now yeah. getting back to form. No, there's no replacement for veteran experience no. in my mind. Adam Stone took the backpack off. He's giving him crap for Where you. Where is Stone? Right here. GM coach of the Hard Eights. The legend, Adam Stone. He's usually got his notepad <laughs> sitting on the side. I saw, I showed up, I saw him sitting on the sidelines taking notes on the, uh, the slice versus the Bears match. He might be the best GM coach in the game right now. Yeah, I don't know what makes him the best, but I just know he is the best. <laughs> just long by Tereschenko. Great move again. This one's getting much tighter as the hard eights settle in a little bit. 5 4. It's a great spot by Eric yeah, I like that a lot. Really good. I'm going to help him get this ball without. Balls in the booth here. Without. I just had a slight worry that I'd be like yanked, you know, like <laughs> I was going to stretch the cord too far and I'd yank my head back. That'd be embarrassing. That, I've seen that for four years from Irina. You can't, you can't really beat her in that middle. That's unreal. That's tough. She's, she saw it coming from a mile away. Much better set up there by Walker, getting that ball down. AJ, how important is it to just stay steady, especially at the start of a game, versus trying to do too much? Uh, I don't think I'm the wrong person to answer that. I think too much is always what I'm going for. But yeah, MLP is obviously caters more to the Saint Hay to Saint Hay to Ireland and Livborski over there. Yeah, MLP caters to the uh, the more patient, the more uh, kind of by the book yep. strategy of pickleball is definitely, um, as you said, early in the match. Yep. Maybe go for more later on. Pretty important. Yeah, go for a little bit more later on, but in general, you're kind of just playing the stock. Yep stuff and waiting for a high ball. Um, yeah, the biggest biggest key is just to not to get down by a ton mm -hmm. in the rally scoring because mm -hmm. I've seen it happen. I saw a team go down 10-1 yesterday. And Some they, mad drops. They've hit a furious comeback. No, it was, it was uh, sliders and shock. 
and there was a, a furious comeback where they just couldn't. That's yeah. such a hard you can only deficit do so much. to overcome. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Right on cue, right there, AJ. Yeah, so that's a tough. It's I a think good a play, but I see a lot of people overextend. Something I had to do myself on the f on your fifth shot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get a little antsy and try and s speed up for mid court. Mm -hmm. They're thinking shake and bake. Tough one off the net. Um, the fifth ball. Right. I've had to just reset. Put that like thing I've, in. I've had to stop my wildness because I'm losing too many points speeding from the from mid court. I feel like I haven't said anything about this match. <laughs> okay. Right now, it's it's like you said, it's pretty stock. We got a two point lead here for the yeah for the bouncers. Honestly, this is make that three. Make it four points. Four. Wow. Yeah. You want to stay if you can stay within three. Before the switch, that's ideal. More than that, you maybe got to reassess some things. It's a good point too. We will switch, folks, at 13. Every game, switch sides at 13. So yeah. one away here for the bouncers. Yeah, this is surprising actually. Yeah, like, like you said, AJ, and I think we'll have it coming up here on the screen here as we switch sides. A little surprising, I think. Um, that's better Eric right there. That's what we call him. Better Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Eric 2.0? Yeah, that's right. What dribbler. Great it. despite the Hard Aids playing better. That's a good point. Yeah. Hard Aids definitely slowing it down. Seemed uh, there were a couple they could have yep. sped up on, but... Quality's good right now, though. Not the way to go, yeah, when you're down. In, uh, I've learned that the hard way. In rally scoring, you can't hit your way out of a deficit. Mm -hmm. That yep. was uh, has been a painful lesson of yep. <laughs> a yep. couple times for me. you got to do, do the opposite and Oops. grind it out. Like exactly. Yeah. Good point there for the bouncers. They needed that one to stop the little draw, the little mini run. 14-9. Good power from yeah. Yana. Power. Right, I've, went, Sorry, I've, I've went and looked up the historical oh, here we go. stats what do we got? for the people because I care. <laughs> Last time these guys played, as far as I know, so. Uh, is in Atlanta. Okay. Back when they didn't have Yana Newell. Right. So the bouncers took that in a dream breaker. With Yana, you got to think that's an upgrade. Right. So even though the bouncers won the last one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that is unreal, unreal defense. Yeah, unreal defense. We use the same word. So Yana Newell, X Factor. Could be the X Factor. Yeah. That's I, I think it leans. Favors the hard eights, even though um, in that match the eights did win the women's match with Christine Maddox. Oh wow! Okay. So with an upgraded, if you consider Yana an upgrade, which yeah. based on experience I would. Yeah. Uh, timeout being called, I believe, by the bouncers. Again, surprising women's match. A timeout. Yeah. So AJ, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bold prediction. Maybe not bold. I, I'm gonna say we're gonna go to a dream breaker again. I th I believe you. I think we're heading that way. Uh, you've convinced <laughs> me. You've got the stats right there. I, I'm not going to argue that. Um, <laughs> I mean, the men's match could, could go either way. Last right. time, Eric and Max uh, won 25-19. I'm expecting a barn burner. Yeah. I'm thinking like a 28-26 yep. men's match is coming up. Spot on. Just can't execute the final ball. Yeah. It did get a little low on her. 
Yeah, that's textbook. Irina, she doesn't go for the counter for midcourt. She's backed up off the line. She plays like a little slow ball. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a half reset. It makes Jeannie hit up on the ball, mm -hmm. and it's just an awkward one to hit. Got to hand it to the Hard Eights. Their defense from the baseline has been unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, I, l I love watching those points. Super hot out too, so it's kind of hard to put it away. It's probably been said a thousand times already on the stream, but ball's going to be a little slower. Yes, this is probably one of the slowest tournaments uh, of the year, actually. Yes. Sacramento PPA was the equivalent. I was oh my god! Just gosh. about to say that Sacramento. Insane. Yep, I think this one in Bristol and Sac will be the three slowest. So that might favor the underdog a little bit. Amateurs at home, the slower the ball, the more you got to move your feet. I mean, you've got Is that to, so? I think so. You've got to get in position. I've never heard that. Really? Yeah. Oof. That's good. Yeah, that's good wisdom, gonna, though. Not going to bounce. You know, you got to stay low. Okay. Yeah, I've never thought about that. And then on the I'm flip gonna side. I'm going to hang around you more. <laughs> Just out. Yeah. Had some insane side spin there from Newell. Yeah. Look at this score, AJ. 15, 15 14. 14, I know. Just Barn like burner that. incoming. Just like that. We got a close one. I'll let you ponder that one. I was thinking, <laughs> I was trying to think of one. I mean, I mean who doesn't love a big good. ultra? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's probably one of the first big sponsors to get yeah. on a team uniform. So yeah. um, I definitely. Uh, Sampled one of those in the past. <laughs> Just one. Just one, I was going to say. Yeah. Again, there's, there's the wildness. Yeah. But that's an 18 13 play there, I think. Yeah, I it think could that's be. a scoreboard play there. Could be. The score. I don't mind it, though. No. Yeah. Good play by Walker as that ball sails over. Yeah. We're going to need a new ball here. That's the right spot. I mean, right down the middle, I think. Sometimes we get obsessed with going at our at our opponent's feet mm -hmm. when actually. Just hit them. If you go middle, I think it's actually just make them reach. Right. Sometimes you make them reach instead of going right at their feet, right right in front of their stance. Right. Middle is actually a little bit more good of a play. Middle and then more and more people, AJ, I feel like are just going body now. Um, able to hit the ball a little harder with some of these paddles and yeah. harder to get out of the way and counter. If yeah, if your opponent's at the kitchen, for right, sure, just right. bag them. Yeah, if they're back, like you said, middle, make them reach. Yeah, the body bag is becoming a thing, and really it's great theater. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a fine play, as long as you're not a complete right. jerk about it. Head hunter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Chipping away at this lead here are the hard eights. 16-19. Remember, we are playing at 25, folks. One by two with a freeze at 24. Oh, yeah. Good pressure from Irina. Whichever team gets to 24, 24 first can only win the next point on their serve. So there is a chance to come back. Always. Oh, that return. That was oh, off. You can't do I thought, that. I yeah. thought that was out for sure. Yeah. Irakina is going to argue it. The ball was out, so 18-19. Again, not a bad challenge. Yeah. Uh, a little net love there, Adrian. A little bit, yeah, yeah. but she, they, they kind of earned it in a way where they, it was a hard one at Yana's right hip and she fought it off and kept yep. it low. So kind of earned the net there. Yeah. I'm making a good volley. 19 all. Yeah. Again, such a good setup again, AJ. She's all over it again. Irina, she just keeps it yeah. low. She doesn't do anything fancy with it. Exactly She's at right. no fear when she gets sped up at. I mean, it's textbook. I think a lot of people freak out. She just keeps it low. Right. And good things happen. And that's the first lead in a long time for the Hard Eights here, AJ, 2019. Yeah! All right, they are feeling it now. The crowd, uh, you, if you can't see this on the sideline, everybody, there are about 25 Hard Eights fans here in the crowd. 
Yeah, definitely crowd favorite. Bring on a new old hometown girl here. Yep, that's right. Lots of pink out there. Husband Ben Newell's on the sideline watching. Where is he? Uh, he's behind. Look at 2219. Rare, very rare error there for yeah. Arena. Well, it's a good time out by Atlanta. I mean, that mm -hmm. was hard eight set all the momentum. 100%. Make them take a second, hit a tight third. And now you got a chance here to. Got to have this one. Inch over the finish line. Great drop. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. Great drop. Hard eight's looking. They're gonna challenge. Are they gonna be? That gets mm -hmm. there first. So yep. Here we go. She makes big time plays and big time moments. Yep. That's that's what she's done for all, her whole career. That's why she's the GOAT. 23 get 21. To it, get to see it firsthand. Oh my gosh, Yana Newell wants that one back. That was tasty. That was juicy. Tasty. I think she's been working on that one -y backhand back and forth we go Mirakina with shot after shot down at the feet I mean the top spin for Mirakina really is world class right now I, I will admit race to two in a row top spin drop top spin drop Yes, topspin. Uh. From Irina. So here we go, AJ. The hard eights can only win on their serve from this moment yep. out. If I'm if I'm Atlanta, I'm returning to Irina. Yep. They've been returning to Yana. She's making all her thirds. Irina missed one. I'd go to her. And there they go. She hits a great third. Yeah. Yana Newell. Get out of here. Oh, she's done it. That was beautiful. Purple Jesus is pumped. Yana's pumped. The fans are pumped. Yes. Roddy's pumped. What a match. And a Purple Jesus Manthau and Eric Lang taking on Todd Fote and Jaume Martinez. Beak. Beak. <laughs> I think so. This is going to be. As you can see, you can't put the ball away here. Oh, yeah. man. Unreal defense again from the hard eights from the baseline. And AJ, we were talking about earlier, it is hard to put this softball away. Welcome to Kansas. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful play. The Ernie body bag <laughs> from Jaume. That's, uh, that should be worth two points. Lane can do nothing but smile on that one. And I'm upset I didn't get to say this, but because those two points were already epic. I think this is going to be one of the best yeah. matches of the weekend. This yes. men's match right here. All four have unreal hands. Yes. It's just, it's so Ooh. evenly matched. Ref takes one off the chest there. AJ. Did he? A lot's going on right Ooh. here on Grandstand. Keep your head on a swivel, folks, if you're out here on Grandstand. And, I, and again, I think this one is so important for the bouncers because um, I, I really think you got to level this match at one all going into mixed. You know, I thought you might say that, but <laughs> again, for those that Captain are obvious his there. historical, <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. historical um, junkies out there, the bouncers actually took both mixed matches well, last time go. these two played. There you go. So even if it goes 2-0, hard eights, they're can't not count out. the bouncers out. Yeah. Um, but certainly never want to go in a two-hole. 
I didn't peg you for a stats guy, Adrian, but I'm I'm, Huge I'm, stats guy. I'm impressed. I'm an engineer. I'm impressed. You know, I like my numbers. Let's go. Big serve from Purple Jesus. Yeah. It's yeah. nice from Lang there. I mean, the hands, the hands from Lang are just world class. Yeah. That that counter. Yep. Uh, to keep it low, anticipate it and keep it low, and then just brush off the. As I say that, he misses the next one, but he was he was two in front of that one. But actually. his backhand, I mean, again, his backhand. Yeah. Is is just absurd. Yep. That one was went to his forehand. Got a little overcommitted in the middle. Oh, oh no. It's the old <laughs> and, and out of bounds body bag. That was boat. hit over 120 miles an hour. I mean, he smoked that. Yeah. Fought Foat standing out of bounds and still took it. Purple Jesus a little long on the serve there. Again, folks, if you don't know him, this Purple Jesus, Pacific Northwesterner, up there with Eric Lang, and as you can see, is extremely good at pickleball, despite maybe not playing as many tournaments as everybody else. Max Manthau, Purple, coming from University of Washington. Mm. Jesus, obviously. You know, he was a high, highly ranked tennis. He was. He was like very successful college in, career. In college? Okay. Yes. I, I heard in, in youth he was like... Juniors, and it, I think it carried over Washington. I know he played... In the starting lineup of a, a good Pac-12 team up there. So. Yeah, a uh, ped pedigree like that you always look for. Yep. As someone that might blow up. Want to ignore Jaume's Ernie there? We'll give him his <laughs> some flowers. <laughs> Sorry, Jaume, if you watch this over. Again, four unbelievable sets of hands out here, and Jaume may have the best. Yeah, he's. It's crazy quick. He's, he's come a long way. His defense is also mm -hmm. exceptional. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to see Jaume take that one. AJ, I don't know what you think. Maybe left open yeah, the. Maybe. You just know, hit it better, maybe. Folks, folks got a nice little 2 e speed up. He does. Uh, I've seen. I've, he's tortured me with it on the left before. I don't see him hit it much on the right, but it was. It stayed low. It just. He's got a flick to a wicked backhand flick. Yes. Just Lang, you know, you go to Lang's backhand, you're, you're, you're playing with fire. Yeah, you're in trouble. I got a text from Tim Parks. I have no doubt Tim Parks is sitting at home <laughs> on a couch in a robe wearing his <laughs> new championship ring. Hey, just, wear him if you got him. And just enjoying this match on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Probably sipping on a maybe an old fashioned, maybe a Manhattan. Tim. Park, Park's a Manhattan guy? No, he's a wine guy. Call in, Tim, if any of this is, is spot on. He already texted me. There I know you go. He, yeah. I, I bet he's got a nice Pinot um, <laughs> maybe on his on his deck. Hey, there's NFL Sundays, Cole, and then there's Pickleball Sundays. Hey. We got 32 days until the NFL kickoff, and in that time, let's, let's enjoy these Pickleball Sundays. I'm willing to go up. I'm willing to put Pickle up against NFL. There we go. It a couple of years. And we got NFL Red Zone. We got Pickleball TV. Very similar. 24-7 yeah. pickle starting on Sunday mornings. That's a nice speed up there from Jaume. Really deceptive. Finds the hip. That's kind of the classic. Like you said, AJ, 8-9. Spot. As we go back and forth. See, I don't think, I don't think this match is going to get beyond, like, a two- or three-point lead. Like, I think these teams are so even. Yeah. It's going to go... It's going to seesaw until the very end. What a dodge by Purple have Jesus a, there, yeah. by the way. Jeez. He's shifty. He's Jesus. I mean, <laughs> does, can solids even touch him? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he wants that one back. Unlike the women's match so far, AJ, this one is, is brute power so far as we see people trying to take the first chance they can and rip it. Yeah. Great hands by Fote. Yeah. Yeah, Manthau got away with the first one. He thought he'd try it again, but... Um, this is not mixed. He does no. not work twice. No. Especially in successive shots. Oh, oh. 
I mean, our average speed up in, in terms of where in the rally has got to be within the first five balls. <laughs> it's right? quick. Within the first I mean, six balls. I mean, the hands, again, it's so slow out here. The, yeah. the guys are kind of all trusting their hands. I love it. They're kind of just, Oof. they're almost saying, let's just see who has the fastest hands right. out here, right. and we'll, we'll decide the match by that. I kind of right. love it. It's like two heavyweights stepping in and say, let's just, just throw haymakers and see who's got the hardest chin. 100%. Uh, so big fan. This is my style of pickle, to be honest. 11 all as another return sale. Yeah. All right, switching at 13. Who's going to get there first? Here we go. Uh, I'm going to go eight. And this will be the last point, no matter what, AJ, until we switch. Right? Yeah. And your predictions I looking pretty good <laughs> as they return here. Yeah, it's a big, very bold prediction, <laughs> calling the person that had 12 first. Very good. I just think. You never know. I think Manthau's going to get get on top of one. Oh, I love that. Wow. I love that from Lang. Papa Lang just poking it up there. You've hit a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, no, again, a rare third miss there by Purple Jesus. So we're all knotted up at 13. Even Purple Jesus knows that was lucky. <laughs> little little tay ta tay there. <laughs> Jesus hits the net. Folks, he's a tasty one. He hits the net. <laughs> Goodbye. And Fa and Mantha gets to. It's the last laugh there. Yeah, exactly. No! And again, AJ, I'm telling you, we sh I should have we should have charted this within the first five shots. Almost of every single point is somebody speeding up. I love it. Yeah, it's great. I mean, other th uh, the only thing that could make it better is if there are more lobs, which. Langer threw one up there at the end and came and gave us a wink. Um, this wow. silly hands. Great hands by Jaume. Get that cross low. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, that's silly. And 15 14. Bouncers with their first lead in a little bit here. How do you feel about the two handed cut? The Purple Jesus there. It's, two handed backhand it's cut. It's hard to argue because. He, when he hits it good, it's so good. But then you see there, AJ, a good serve is tough to do that on. It's a reason people are hitting top. Todd Fote's on a mission. Yeah. Of the match for anybody here, Kolsch, 17-14. All right, so my prediction was it's not going to get more than three the entire match. All right, that was good. It's, it could have gone four, but my prediction stays intact. Todd tries to top spin the slice, which is the right move, and he just duffs it. I like the interaction. That's just great. Uh, over here. This is we got refs on the reviews. We got yeah. players on the chain. Refs and laps. We got the best spot in the house here. Two handed slices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. folks. Uh, you gotta, it's Coach. crazy to say this. You've got to go to Jaume. Yeah. At this point, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Do you? I at mean, least how you're screwed there, too, though. That's Fote. what I'm saying. Yeah, folks, high level right now. Gosh. He's got a new stick, too. I don't, I mean. Maybe he's. Oh, oh that's gross. Or go there. There's your middle. That was gross. There's the Kohler middle ball. Yeah, sneaky. He hadn't tried that the whole match, so I think they just weren't suspecting it. Um, but Fote rocking the uh, power air now. I think mm -hmm. the O2s are, are going out of style, out of production. It was, a good, it was a good run there by the O2. Yeah, so you're, just, you're not getting any. Anything you go at Fote, it comes back low. You're just not getting any pop ups. Right. And so Lang's assuming he's going to get something that he can work with, doesn't, and then he sends it long. So it's kind of what's going on here. I mean, and Lang's doing the same. I mean, this is classic right side stuff. The, uh, the betting odds at a five or more dink rally right now, Kohler, is plus 30,000. It, it's just not in the wait, works. What did you just say? <laughs> the betting odds for a dink rally of five or longer. Oh. It's plus 30,000. I love that stat. I heard <laughs> plus 30,000. I was like, where do I get in on this? I mean, you're not going to get it. No, I, yeah, well, no. <laughs> not in this sport. Yeah. Uh, we love it. I'm a big fan. 20 Okay, so hit do three or die here even. for the hard eights. Yeah, three-point lead is. Got to gotta rack up a couple in a row here for the hard eights. Oh, my gosh. Is this going to be it? No. 
Oh, oh disgusting. That's gross. Better Eric goes up the line, off speed slice. Tama just stands there and laughs. Gosh. That's a veteran move right there. He's been doing that since 2018. Yeah. Oh, no. A little oh. scrap in the middle there. Yeah. It's a great slide by Fote. Opening up the court. Jaume to hit that down. I mean, Todd promised us a lob, though. I'm still waiting for that. I know. Over it's, lane. It's over the, lane. They're going to chicken out. They've got the lead. They're going to play soft and solid. What a ball. Are yeah. you kidding? Manthal walking on not water, but air yes. as he puts that ball away. Purple Jesus. That is. Had to have that He's one. half man, half God, right? I mean, that was the, that was the ladder right there. Unbelievable at Purple Jesus. Oh my gosh. Unlucky. You take that every time. <laughs> for you the take it. I mean, again, Fug's been playing so well, I think he's earned it. He's earned, he's, it. He's earned a netter. All right, folks, here we go. 22 19 bouncers. This is a huge point. If you're purple Jesus, so you gotta go slow. You, you gotta yeah. know when to when to kind of back off there. Again, the, the way to get out of a a deficit right. in rally scoring. Grind it out. Grind. There you go. That's it. Yeah, just like that. Let let them take the uh, yeah. take the risk. Make the mistake. Bouncers one point away again from a freeze where they'll have to win another serve, AJ. So every point crucial here. That's a killer if you're laying. Tough one Just to put miss. It in. Yeah. Oof. But understandable. Again, big, big moment though. Those hard, those thirds are hard to hit. Just, Just need a stand. That's a great spot. Yeah. That's really good. I would have loved to see him earning that one, but he made the right. He took. You know, took time to took time to make the right play anyway. Yeah. That is yeah. unreal by Lang. Eric Lang just won that point. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Yeah, it's classic Lang. Jeez. He, he reads the, the hip attack, catches it with his forehand, and gets on top of the point. And then Purple Jesus jumping back to rip the ball off the kitchen line. Yeah. Unreal. Again, I'd love to see Jamai not speed something up here. Mm-hmm. Oh, what hands. Switch. Uh, here we go, first game point for the bouncers on their serve. But this is crucial because if they don't get this, hard eights keep scoring. That's a big point. Hard eights are playing with essentially house money right now as, as they, all they gotta do is get, their, get the ball on their serve. Mm -hmm. Bouncers cannot score unless it's on their serve. Match point and towel off, not a timeout. Big point here, who do you go to? They're both hitting thirds like fiends. I don't think there's a right move. Yeah. Oof. Oh wow. My gosh. Stop no it. Jamo smiling. Stop it. He knows that was good. Again, not even a hit. He just puts his paddle on his body and lets it lets it ricochet into the open court. So here we go, a chance to tie and play bonus pickle here. We call it bonus pickle. We want bonus pickle. We do. Yeah. What a shot by Todd going behind purple.
Jesus. Yeah. But he gets it so down. Like, it's just so down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think his grip is like. His, his paddle's face down and he flicks. Yeah, and but the just ball just it goes down it, so fast. It dives down. Um, Match point number two. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh. Yeah. I was just about to say, I think keep targeting Jaume's backhand. He's looking, yeah. he's feeling a little frisky on his backhand. Even though he's got a great topspin dink roll on the backhand, he's also doing some wild stuff and making errors. Bonus picky. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, tough. That ball is going to sail over the barrier as Purple Jesus goes to retrieve. And we have match point number. Kwong coming up on mix. Kwong is coming up, is, is uh, handled his mix. Nice. All right, match point. Wow. Yeah. Again, just trigger pull after trigger pull. Yeah. Trigger pull after trigger pull. At the same time, it's the right play. The Jaume's, right play. He's, playing, he's playing his third a little too safe. He's hitting a high, loopy third. Yeah. But Manthau can take advantage of that because it bounces up so high. Speed, speed demon. No way. We're gonna go to. Yeah. Uh, there, that is, and again, there might be two to three people in pickleball that get that ball and avoid the net and hit it perfectly. Yeah. Purple Jesus, one of them. Impressive stuff. Unbelievable. Now, a big third. I think this ball is gonna be coming to Lang. I want to see him commit to that topspin third. When he commits, he's so much better Correct. on that roll third. For a 2-0 lead, AJ, here we go. It's big. Goes to Purple Jesus. Wow. <laughs> purple Jesus can't believe it. That, he was there. That is the man version of Purple <sighs> Jesus. We've seen the God version. Holy Half cow. man, half God. Now that is the, uh, the human. He knows he got away with one there. 26 all. Yeah, better third. Can I go to Jaume's backhand? Mm -hmm. He's missed a couple. Make him do something he doesn't want to do. There it is. Wow. Nice call. Great call, AJ Kohler. And Lang with, I mean, that's a better, that's, so much harder to do than you think, but yeah. um, to step around the kitchen, a stay clean. Half Ernie there, maybe. Yeah. Match and point number two, hard eight. All right, who are they going to? I think you got to go to Lang. Mm -hmm. They went to purple last time. Again, they do. Yeah, I'd stay on that spot. Mm -hmm. Cross court. Cross court. Yeah. Wow. What a pull, man. What a pull. Purple Jesus. The man, the myth. And did we not call it? I mean, you, you called I think it we called the 28-26 on the nose. You called it Somebody perfect. go back and check that. Uh, the Pickle and Pucks, uh, that's a, an event in Aspen on Wednesday and Thursday next week. I will be there, even though, uh, you know, I wasn't on the moniker <laughs> on the end. You know, they leave me off and put Ben and Anna Lee uh, on there, I guess. It's okay. It's I'm, understand not, understandable. I'm, not, I'm not bitter about it. Um, I was the more. It said Ben, Anna Lee, and more. I'm, I'm the more Perfect. with the exclamation mark. So, a bunch Great. of NHL guys, Ben, Anna Lee, myself, Isner, uh, just kind of chopping it up. I think we have a spot on ESPN, too, on Thursday night. Nice. So, uh, it'll be fun. I know the hockey fan in you is going to be Yeah, I'll be cheesing. For that, yeah. Chris Draper, Stanley Cup champion, Justin Williams, Mr. Game 7, Troy Terry, young stud, uh, for plays for Anaheim. Hockey's uh, the one on ice. Hey. No, 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 You're out of your mind, Roddy. <laughs> yeah. I know they don't play that in Greenville or whatever the hell we, they're from. We don't have it in Charlotte. Charlotte. Hey, yeah. we got a minor league team. Yeah, I bet. The Checkers. I bet. Oh, really? Yeah. Charlotte Checkers. Actually, fun games. Really fun games. Yeah. And I had a, I had a Preds year in Nashville. Where I got to go to the Preds. So. Lots of fighting in minor league. That's what yeah. that's what the fans love about yep. that. Cheap hot dogs and fighting. That's, that's minor league <laughs> hockey. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> that's going to be a fun event. All right, so fun fact. Again, we're going to stats here because we care. Um, we care about the fans. You guys want to know stats? We got stats. 
That's just great. Job. I mean, floating. Yes, literally floats. Floating on air. It's the Federer of pickleball. Hit me, hit me with this stat. I love him. So last time these guys played Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Again, this was a while ago, but same matchup. What do you think the score was? What do you think won? Jaume and Correct. Angie, 31-29. What? Is that All spot right, on? That's silly. Uh, blowout, 25-16, <laughs> if you can believe that. There's domination. 25-16. So I'm waiting for the duper, the duper uh, graphic, yeah, graphic yeah. but I don't know who the – I mean, it's got to be a 50-50 duper, but you look at that score line. No. That's significant. And, again, I'll, I'll t I'd say this to Manthouse. To, to, I'd say this to him. I think he, he would admit to mixed is his worst of the three events, and I think he's, he's uh, still learning sure. what he's doing. And he obviously has all the tools to be unreal at it. So. Yeah. But I, I still think he's kind of getting used to mixed. Yeah, and that, was, that. That, was, that was several months ago, so he, Correct. he's probably stepped it up too. He so. for sure is better. And Jaume, obviously, very solid at mixed. Yeah. Yeah, underrated, I think. Yes. Um, but again, that's two months ago. So. Yeah. A little read and a stare down there from Mr. Vick. And, and so important for everyone watching at home, you've got to keep the left side player, usually the guy, honest, and you've got to go behind him a fair amount. Otherwise, they're just going to dominate the middle like that right there. Yeah. Great stat, though. That's what we're about. Oh, that's just. That's, that's really a little good. man getting big, but Hard Eight's come out with a point. Again, if you're Mantha, I mean, I would even think about going, keep going back to Jaume's backhand. 100%. You don't have you don't have Lang in front of him this time, which is, so he, he might pull it with more success. 100%. Uh, this time around, but Arena, I would test it her out. Yeah. Take, she'll she'll cover herself over there. She, too, so. she, yeah. Again, she's she's seen everything in the sport. She's not going to get fooled. More than once. Matt, yeah. Most, too often. Right at the by most. by a speed up, you know, a low speed up. So, if I was Max, I would think about. Keeping McJama hit that little two-hander. Maybe he does something silly. Mm -hmm. Walker can dink all day. She's got that great topspin roll. And that she's asking Jama if that was out. That's really Jama's call. Um, if you're Walker, you can't really see it when you're right on top of it. It's actually better that the partner calls it because yeah. he's got the better angle. Yeah. Um, She's a little frustrated at, at, at Jaume for not calling it out, and I thought it might have been. Right. Honest. They're going to concede it eight all here. Again, pretty early to challenge, but good resets. Yeah. That was tasty. Great job by Walker there, yeah. just giving Jaume a chance to yeah. eventually pop in. So again, kind of a kind of a high end handle of the guy yeah. speeding up at you. She plays a soft block, makes him come again, and then she resets cross court. That's a perfect way to get out of a jam if you feel in mix like you're overwhelmed by the guy. Yeah. And right there again, AJ just Manthal hitting it in the no-no zone with too much fluff. Yeah, I don't like it. No, got to get that cross or really far down the line. Or, or lob. I mean, he has a right. lob. To, I don't know if he's got that shot in the bag, but... You uh, can lob Jama, yeah. This is a lobbing, yeah. Opportunity. Look at the hands here. Yeah, I love that. That's oh my beautiful. God, that's textbook. That's right beautiful. That's why the that's score is 25 16. That's why they call him Poppy right <laughs> yeah. there. That's a Poppy move. See, Poppy, see. Again, great. Uh, I like that. Hard to get into. Good roll there by. Hard eights. They're sticking around nine, nine to eleven here. So, yeah. Foten, Arakina, patiently waiting on the bench, locked in here. What a get. That brought your hands together, yeah. literally. That was like a. Felt compelled. You couldn't even, yeah, you couldn't <laughs> prevent it. What that a point. A, that was a clap. No matter what happens here, too, AJ, we will play the, the fourth and final 
mix match here. Every every game counts in the year-end standings. So. Obviously, we're uh, the bouncers are hoping they win this one to force it. Yeah. Force it to matter. But and they should. Yeah. But you never know. You're going up against somebody who literally can walk on air. <laughs> exactly. He turns defense and offense. Ooh, he would have been there if that border wasn't there. Yeah. Good put away. Fun. We haven't had a. Uh, <laughs> we kind of an NBA style diving over the, well, uh, the uh, partition. Well, Jones yesterday was using these partitions as a trampoline. Really? She did it four times. Like in one a boxing ring. In one point. Off the ropes. Exactly. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Terry Shanko says, get that out of so here. I love that from Irina. So going yeah. behind the guy, Roddy mentioned that. Yeah. Jaume is looking to sneak middle. He's, he's, you can see he's won five or six points by covering mm -hmm. that middle so well. Goes behind him, earns a pop-up. And uh, sometimes it's that simple. Going behind someone and earning a high ball. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. The shape on that is disgusting. Yeah. It's first mix match. And a must have. That, that popped up a little too high, Cole. Good lean in. We got some more stats. Right. Oh, here we go. We got more stats. Hit me. Our, our um, sent in from. From New York City. Wow. Um, hard eights, eight and one since acquiring Yana Newell. Yeah. Right. I so believe it. X Factor. We talked about that. They won the women's match um, with her uh, on the team. Only loss mid-season tournament. They dropped to the uh, the Night Owls, mm -hmm. but then went on a run to win third place. So um, hard eights, kind of a new team um, after the first. Two events, and again, that's Adam Stone, GM, just doing what he does just best. Just working it, identifying what they need, finding a player, and perfect fit. Keeping his ear to the ground, keeping his nose to the grindstone. That's, right. that's Adam Stone. That's right. Keeping his backpack on his shoulders. <laughs> uh, just today's the first day he's not going four hours in a row with that backpack on. Is that has he been wearing that? I haven't Yesterday, even noticed. Four hours in a row. I think he's already had two shirt changes in this <laughs> match alone, and that's just from standing on the sidelines. He's fixing the hat. I mean, the guy is money. There's behind him. That's oh my gosh, silly. are you kidding? Stop. Oh, Look what I, it takes to win a point, though. I wanted him to win that so bad. That was an insane get by Jaume. Great job going behind him. Worth it. Yeah. Hard eight's sticking around here. Doesn't have a 25-16 feel to this one, but it is, it's still possible. No, I think I think Purple yeah. Jesus came to play. He's looking sprightly out here. You can hear the feet from here. Yeah, that's a classic announcer jinx. <laughs> Shrugging the shoulder. How did I miss that? Adam Stone talking some more strategy and you know, I don't love Stone just because he's named his child after me, but <laughs> that is definitely one of the reasons. <laughs> so good. No. I love that. That is a... <laughs> Jeremy's saying, how do I miss that wide? That you is, can't miss that one wide. That is exactly a shot I've hit in my life before. You're, yes. you're ready. You've decided you're hitting it's perfect. a reach-in lob, and then it's a high ball, and it actually should be a put-away. Yeah. But then you lob it anyway, and you miss. It's a bummer. I've hit that about... 1,400 times in my life. No way. Oh, no way. Almost. Yeah, you and Callan Dawson, AJ, two of the best lobbers in the game. Appreciate that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Some, you know, it's been so, yeah, some people it's might true. say I'm not it's good true. at it at all. No, come on. <laughs> Depends who you ask. Just wide on the reset. And again, hard eight sticking around, 15 17. It, it almost feels like they should be ahead. Right. Honestly, the right. match doesn't feel like Atlanta's no. winning this. So if I, if I were to uh, take a live line right now, I'd honestly would take the eights. And Jaume, right on cue, hits yeah. the edge of the line. That was a goofy one. I actually thought that I would have left been that out. too, yeah. I mean, I thought it might have been out, but just a goofy little. I don't even know what that was. 
But again, it doesn't feel like the eights are behind. It feels like they're. Yeah. It feels like they're ahead. Yeah. Am I the only one on this? No, no, no. And again, I think they would be if there wasn't for that streak Jeremy went on earlier in the game where he's three or four middle balls in a row. Just close, close, yeah. close. I would, I would take the eights. I don't want to, you know, jinx anything. But I would say they, they come back and take the lead. And Purple Jesus with the coolest towel I've ever seen. It's got a vintage NBA with all team logos on it. Oh, I didn't see this. That is awesome. We got to get that on the... We need a camera over here so we can show you guys some things. I'm going to venture to say he's either an old school Seattle Supersonics, now Thunder fan, or he's yep. a Trailblazers fan. Oh, yeah. Being up there. He's a Blazers. Yeah, I think Blazers. I, I feel sure. it. D-Lil and, and, yeah. And black and red. I'm trying to think of the old school. Just needs to get in. Get up, get up. There it is. There you get go. in there. That's a good spot by Mantel. Again, so I'm very impressed with Walker's resets. She just left that last one a little too hot. Yeah, that's good D. You know, if you've got two pure top spin dinker yes. girls yes. on the right side here. They're all pure topspin. Sometimes when you're top spinning on topspin, they can, can get they away can from you, up. right? Yeah. That that's what happened right there. Oh, wow. Stop, Irina. Great reset. Unreal. What a point. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's MLP. That is Major League right there. Wow. I'm clapping again. Both guys crack a smile there. Unreal point. I mean, Walker's working her tail off she's right now. Playing, she's playing very high level she's, right now. Jama's laughing during the point. She's kind of needs a breather. But Again, both women complimenting the men so well yeah. on the right side here. Yeah, no, she's working, working hard, making the right stuff happen. Backhand speed up call, I think he's got to do a little bit more in terms of either getting it lower or hitting a better spot. That one just hung up a little bit. Yeah, and then even like he's he's gone middle or he's gone middle mm -hmm. or to Irina's right hip twice. I think he's he has a really aggressive, he can roll it cross court. Yes. So yes. get man that leaning middle and, just, and yep. then dump it hard cross court. I think that doesn't need the, to be perfect. Yeah. I think that's the play next time he gets one that he likes. 100%. Oh, stop. This is. Puppet master stuff here. And they shot the lob into the sun really well, but Jaume just makes it. Clutch overhead. Yeah. Keep going behind Jaume. Keep going behind Manthau, too. Yes. I love actually when, when Angie gets in behind Max. Uh, he just got a, his, his forehand is on fire when mm -hmm. he gets a high one. Mm -hmm. So I think I think you can almost get in going behind him. First missed stink of Jaume, I think, in either men's or mixed. And it comes at 2018, so yeah. Let's see if he can rebound here. There it is. It's lovely. Again. Wow. Angie Walker doing go. listening to you in the booth, Kohler. So behind and then the, and then the heavy topspin again. We've got Eric Lang, a semi in the booth with us here as he will cheers his team on. Listening in, making sure we're saying the right things about his team. It's <laughs> a good slice there. That's yeah. the key with the two-hand slice we were talking about earlier. Got to get it deep. It's trouble if it's not deep. Yeah, that was heavy. That was, that was heavy and deep. The GOAT serving here at 2021, MLP GOAT. Announcer's curse. That's we got to it. Doing I know, dude. Quit, quit, quit saying sorry, her name. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Two-point lead here as we come down the finish line. Again, that's just a that's just that's just a tired third shot drive yeah. and the heat. You got to put a little bit of mustard on it. This ball is soft right now. Walker, he's there. He's there. Oh, 
There it is. Right. Wow. I mean, the, the, again, the level is unbelievable right now. High level, scrambly. I haven't seen Jamai pull out that one -y flick. That was the thing, the first time I've seen him pull that out today. Purple Jesus jumping to the heavens on the overhead, and they somehow get it back. I think he stayed there for about a half second. Like, I think he f literally floated. He levit it literally yeah, was levitating. levitating. For at least a half second. Somebody check the footage. Do a Lipa shout out out there. Great song. That's great for Angie. Irina with a sick behind Jaume ball there. Uh, I love I love a lot of things that are going around. I love Jaume getting big right now. I love Jaume trusting Angie to grind on the baseline right. You see him when she gets back. He doesn't even move. He's right. just standing on the kitchen knowing she's going to make it back and staying in an offensive position so he can make a, a, a poach. Um, Great Ernie. Yeah. Again, levitation is a factor here. The guy is everywhere. And at one point, yeah, and we got a timeout by Atlanta. It's a good timeout. 22-23, folks, Again. coming down the wire. And again, a tight dink good from Walker. Spot. I mean, we said earlier that it felt like the eights were not behind this no. whole match. I just, we had a feeling that they would creep up and maybe take this. Match point number one and team match point number one. And it's saved. Manthon knows he's got to get that one down. Yeah. Smacks his paddle. All right, again, AJ, bonus pickleball. Bonus pickleball. I mean, this is this is a tight, as tight as we've seen. Yeah. I think every match was down to two points, right? Two very good teams playing each other here. Two of the top challenger teams, no doubt. Oh yeah, my gosh. Lucky, but but a great move by Jama. I mean, yeah, he earned that. Going sometime, across. yeah. Earning the netter. Match point number one, bouncers. Slice serve. <sighs> he nice. missed that by a hair. Yeah. Oh, AJ. Again, it's all who's going to make the big play yeah. in the big moment. You got to lean on Irina yep. for the experience here. Manthal's been playing out of his mind. They just not, they got to get into the net. Just get to the net. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't think Walker thought that was going to go in. That was so awkward. He snuck that up the line on her. Yeah. And she could have hammered She could have earned it. I, just, I didn't think she was comfortable hitting uh, whatever she. She could have counted to 10 before she could have earned that. Yeah. Oh, she gets, gets away with it. It's good. Match point. They got to have this to stay in the match. Playing up one up, one back here. Yeah. There you go. Get it behind Max. Hey. Great oh. hands, great hands, Jaume smiling. Jaume getting big though, yeah. I love to see that. Hard eight's gonna take a towel, water. no, timeout called? No, so just a towel. Water off. break? Yeah. Towel break, water break. It's understandable. All right, AJ, first to two in a row, here we go. Like you said, leaning on that veteran presence. Hard to, hard to do, again, if they could just get to the net, I favor the eights. Just kind of get up there. Now they're in. Right. Wow. Wow. Almost rolls that off the visor. I mean, again, Irina. Yep. Big so time player. Big time plays. Walker was on top of that ball, but Irina just shoves it back at her body. She doesn't get back, she doesn't reload enough in enough time to get it. Uh, the next one. Team match point number two. There you go. Oh, oh no, it tags she, her. She touched it, but she got hit. Oh, it tags Jumbe's her. laughing. <laughs> He's, oh, no. He pulls out the sniper. Arena's laughing, too. The sniper celebration. Oh, no. I mean, off the T-spine. <laughs> Seventh vertebrae. She was one inch shorter. She's dodging that. Here we go. 27 all. All right, got to get to the net here. 
Yeah. Jama is struggling with the thirds a bit, but it's the right spot. I think going behind Max to get in is the way to go. Now if the age can just get to the net, this you've got to thank that guy. you got to get to the net here. If you can get to the net, they, they have the advantage, right? Irina versus Andy Dinking. That's going to be advantage Irina. What a match. 29-27, Purple Jesus. Irina Tereshenko taking the mix. I mean, beautifully done. She's, she has no fear of those moments. She gives some dinks uh, cross court and then leans into the right. Well, Kansas City, the final match here, even though it doesn't matter for the win-loss, it matters for tiebreakers, AJ. So here we go. And this is honestly some of the most fun matches yes. when there's it's already decided. Both, play looser. both yeah. teams play loose, exactly. The fans can get into it. Right. You can chirp a little bit more knowing that it doesn't really matter, but right. it, again, for standings purposes, it does. And again, I think, you know, shout out to Manthau and, and Tereshenko clinching that one. And, and we were talking, AJ, it's, he needs to be renamed Pink Jesus when he's playing. I think Pink Jesus has arrived, yes. yes. We were ditching purple. Right. He looks so good in the, in the hard age gear. Yep. Pink Jesus has come around. Maybe we could do a combination yeah. of, I don't know, what happens when you mix purple and pink? I think it's a lavender thing. So, you know, lavender? Lavender, lavender Jesus. Fuchsia? Not to be confused Wait, with the Taylor Swift song. Is that a real Taylor Swift song? Lavender Haze, I believe is the name. Days, Haze, something like that. Not a Swifty for those out there. You would know. You would know the album. I respect her, but how I'm not a Swifty. How many concerts did you go to last summer? Uh, I went with one one with Dow, who's supposed to be here right now. So is that <laughs> <so> <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> I would have to film that. You would dial at a swift con I I choose to believe that that happened, actually. I, I, would, I would do it. Dow, if, if you're there on the, in the airport, let's go to a swift concert together. Yeah. Yeah, he's at the airport. Last he's been at the TGA Fridays <laughs> in the airport for full six hours since missing his flight. The guy's on dollar margarita number, who knows. But, uh, <laughs> quick 4-1 lead for the bouncers. Yeah. Four I think two. I think Foat's going to just start yanking. Yeah. Um, again, nothing rips, nothing yeah. to lose. I think yeah. he's going to try and go all steam here. Yeah. Which which he uh, should. That should be how he plays mix. Yeah, that's what I'm happy about. Gianna Newell drives. So so good, so underrated. Heck of a singles player. Yeah, no, I like this. The crowd's getting into it. Gianna, KC native. Uh, well, I guess Russia native. But now KC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, classic. Crowd <laughs> is classic <getting> Russian <laughs> KC move there. Yeah, Gretchkin is a very common last name in Kansas City. Um, <laughs> no, tons of fans out here for her, so crowd's getting into it a little, a little bit. Great stuff by Todd. Mm -hmm. And again, if you can see a side view here, folks, we're not kidding. There's 20 Yana Newell fans on the side right now. To the right of your screen, I think they can, I think they can see him there. Yeah. Lavender Jesus. That's all I can think about now. I'll send you the link to the Spotify. Yeah, yeah please. Oof. Yana wanted that one back. Yeah, no, he's feeling. I mean, look, he's walking around shirtless. I mean, the guy's ripped. I mean, I, I don't, I don't blame him. If I look like that. Yeah. The I, guy is. I just would just take a lap. Ripping in swag. And, and this is a true story. I talked to him a couple tournaments ago. The guy has a garden. He loves the garden. What? Yep. He is as, as peace and love as it gets. I mean, the guy's the nicest human being on earth. Pacific Northwest. He's yeah. never leaving. I love that. Oh. Crafty leave. Todd. What and a, Eric Lang in the Matrix? Todd in disbelief. You don't see that very often where you, s you dodge a ball that's going wide. Oh. You matrix a ball that's going wide. You don't see that very often. Jeez. Still got the moves. Still got the footwork. And then he says, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. And the hands. I mean, <laughs> we're, giving, we're giving Jesus some swag uh, it's time to give credit Lang, here. Yeah. Time to give it to Lang a little bit, right? 6-7. Six, six, seven, good comeback from the hard eights. Going for the sweep. Twinkle toes at 43 <laughs> years old still. No way, wow. Eric. <laughs> catching that one. Uh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Half the throw on that one, maybe? Yeah, it was a little throw yeah. off the forearm, wrist, yeah. paddle, and then she stares down the uh, Tereshenko. That was fun. 
This is why I love the fourth yeah. games, and th it's, they're they're fun. And again, the level is so high. Great one-two punch by Fote there. Lang taking the glasses off for a, a D steamer and a sweat wipe, and he's back. Oh, that's a tasty oh, little odd. Tasty little drive and crickets. Oof. Nobody applauds that that mastermind. They know too good when they see it. Shake and bake. <laughs> Left his wife and family to be here, <laughs> to be sweating on the sidelines in Kansas City. It's because he cares. It is. And because he's good at it. Oh, Todd lets that one sail. He knows he had a shot at that one. It's where the net cord can kind of throw your timing off. So that a couple times. Yeah, tougher than it looks. You see a lot of guys spray forehands long after a, after a netter. And that draws applause from the Gretschkina camp on the sidelines. And Yana's husband, Ben Newell, has a brother that looks just like him. Well, he's got a twin. That's Eric. okay. Wow. That's why he looks there you like go. He's his twin. It turns out I'm not seeing things. The more you know. The more you know. Todd hitting the, <laughs> hitting the bottom bar on that one. He must have spun a little weird on him. 9 to 11 here, hard eights. Switching at 13. No way. Stop. Great nice defense. If you're laying, you got to go middle there. Let him hit it wide. Nothing you could do there. 12-9. 12 12-9. 12 mm. So last time this matchup happened, we the on ESPN get some hockey guys. It's a good reason to miss singles. Yes. Yeah. Any reason is really a good reason. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, pretty. Wow. Todd suffering there. That's really pretty from Lang. Speed up there. He's got so many options. He, like, he can go down the line or he can go middle right there. And then he, once once Todd covers middle after he sees the first middle, then he goes behind him. It's just, mm -hmm. it's better and stuff. Oh, my goodness. That's disgusting. Jeannie with the angle of the match as she waves to Giannis fans that over was, there. That was, that was gross. Even they're nodding their heads saying, that's too good. I'm in disbelief at that shot. 18-12 off that, too. Good dodge or miss or whiff, all the above. Oh, she's, she's having some fun. Again, can't, can't talk too much crap because they lost the match. True. But, uh, but you do want to have, uh, you do want to keep the competitive spirit up. Yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. That doesn't happen much. Again, Todd is dialed. Uh, I mean, he is that's feeling it. That's really nice by Todd. The down the line is so hard to read off his paddle. I know. He and holds it so long. And we saw something you never really see where Irakina <laughs> went past the ball, Fote retrieves it from behind her. And then they go back to their spots. And that's, uh, that's a fun one. We don't see too often. Oh, Todd might have got on that one. And the everything going right for the bouncers right now, Kohler. Yeah. Yeah, they tried switching, uh, switching side. Did Giannis start on the left? No, Lang did. So they tried to stone, yeah, thrown in the the mix up there. So a good time to try stuff out. You've already bagged the win. For sure. See what you got going. Um, different formations, but that's right. What'd you lose? No, I'm just giving the back a stretch here. Yeah, wait. You're almost home. There's your partner Brandon French coming over to watch. Oh my god. None other than Wyatt Stone. Yes. The bad boy of pickleball. Two good friends. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Two good friends. Rocking a Gatorade. <laughs> Could be some libations in there. <laughs> and French's. Oh, no, he's got to play later. That's probably. true. And Todd, again, just this has been the Todd Fote show. Not that Jeannie has not played good as well, but. Yeah. 
he has taken over. 14-22, 22-14. This one all but over, unless a massive comeback starts right now. What defense. Yeah, that's really good. ATP defense into a finish by Lang. That was fun. Lang's inside out, one of the best in the world. Yeah. He's been, you recall he had uh, some classic runs with your partner Deacon that's back right. in the day. That's right. Deacon, I remember when I came in the sport, Deacon had the best forehand drive I'd ever seen. Yeah, it is a laser. With the old, Flat. The old Selkirk and Victa. Um, he would tattoo that thing. I mean, he still is lasering the st ball. Still great, but back yeah. in the day. When you Roddy, could only hit flat, you. yeah. Yeah, I bet it was huge. He had a little longer paddle, so it was more like a tennis racket. He's got that small one now. Big, big what if if he hadn't suffered the wrist injury. Right. Yeah. Part of that's just getting older, too. Yeah. Tough. Uh, Nice little deflection, Eric Kina. Again, just deflecting it cross court, not being, uh, not getting overwhelmed with the yeah. speed up at her. Right, she stays calm. She just puts it in a spot behind Lang. It's, it's really smart. And if you're the bouncers here, Cole, you leave this match saying, "Look, we played really well. We just didn't win more of the bigger points because they're going to lose this one three-one. Yeah, it looks like. And again, six-point differential. They're actually going to win the point differential. That's true. It's unbelievable at this rate. Yeah. No, uh, it was in a one three. It was a coin flip. I, I think, honestly, the next time these two teams play, I'm gonna have to watch. Uh, yeah, this is because now blue chip matchup. Seeing all the uh, intricacies of the mm -hmm. matchup, kind of intrigued at uh, what'll happen next time. And your stats were again two points away from being spot on and being in dream breaker. So I think we both called that. And here we go, match point match for point. the bouncers. See if Irakina wins it and gives a little stare down to the to the Hard Aids bench or the fans. Maybe some spiciness at the end. Be a little bit, uh, if she gets it. Say so see you next time. And no, she's gonna play it cool. Oh, it's mild. And there you have it, everybody. 25-17 bouncers.